Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another quick unboxing. Today we are looking at the, not even released yet, starter set for House Baratheon for A Song of Ice and Fire, the tabletop miniatures game from Simon. I'm pretty pumped about this one. Uh, we got it at Gen Con 2019, which we'll have more info on that later. But uh, for now we're going to be focusing on this box. I'm really excited about this one because I am a fan of House Baratheon because they like to party and so do I. So. Uh, let's go ahead and dive inside the box. Okay, plastic wrap is off. And as you saw on the back of the box, there's quite a few miniatures in here. Um, stag knights and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So let's do this. Okay, it is a starter set. So you do get some uh, new starter things for the game of A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, so there's the, uh, the little command thing that you need to play. So then we got the rule book as well. So if you don't have the rules, if you didn't get the Stark Lannister set, which is a really massive starter set for two players, uh, this has got your rules in there as well. Again, uh, really good stuff. I like this game a lot, actually. It's a rank-and-file combat game um, that uh, is a lot of fun. So uh, here's the uh, templates that you'll need. A couple of different things for the different scenarios, for like a Feast of Crows and things like that. There's uh, quite a few punch-outs. So these are two-sided, so they're useful for other scenarios. You got your range ruler there. Uh, you got extra tokens and stuff, gold and coinage. So there's those. And then some barricade hedgerows, things like that. Some some walls sections as well. Uh, oh, here we go. These must have popped out. They probably go here, if I had to guess. Uh, they were on a plane with me, so they probably got a little jumbled around. But there you have uh, some... New stuff. Castle walls. That's, I think, what these are right here. There you go. Little crenellated walls for you to hide on. So, uh, but there's more cards in this pack. I'll open that up here in a second. There's some objective cards. So, hidden objectives. And then, of course, your unit cards. Uh, what's neat about the uh, A Song of Ice and Fire tabletop miniatures game is that all the units do have cards with upgrades you can do on them. Uh, but all of your, your stuff... <laughs> All of your unit stats are on these cards, and it makes it really easy to reference and to play. And you get some nice, uh, cool Baratheon, <clears throat> Baratheon dice. That's nice. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, where are all the miniatures at? They're in here. So pull this out. That's the little thing to keep everything organized. One of the things I do like about Simon is their packaging. Because... See, that's everything in the box because it makes for easy cleanup and storage for later. Let me just slide these out. As you can see, all these miniatures fit in here. If you don't have a fancy, you know, case or anything like that, uh, if you wanted to paint your miniatures, you could put them back in the case <clears throat> using these plastic holders. Or if you have a fancy case, you can do that. It's kind of up to you. Uh, you get, uh, like, looks like four of these unit trays, which are really nice. Uh, cool thing about these unit trays, not only do they fit your miniatures, obviously, uh, in the rows, they also have markings for facing. So there's the front facing with the little arrow, the two flanks, and then obviously the rear with, with no markings there. But you get those four for the different units. And then you get all of the miniatures in here. And I'm going to unbox these. Uh, we'll take a closer look at all the minis, but you can see how they're stacked uh, to fit very nicely. And they have a little cover as well. And then... Uh, more right there so i'm gonna go ahead and uh unback a couple of these miniatures as examples and we'll take a closer look at the minis here's a closer look at some of these min uh, miniatures here and i wanted to show off a couple of these in particular uh the guy right here in the back standing on the rock that is stannis baratheon that's his miniatures uh miniature and then in the front here we have renly baratheon uh then we have uh Alistair florent who is right here if you know that character from the series and then also we have lady uh shara errol She's back here. And I just wanted to show off kind of the different poses here. These these other three here on the side, we've got the uh, Baratheon Sentinel Bannerman. That's this guy right here. Then we've also got a couple of different poses. There's 11 Baratheon Sentinels, which are the two-handed hammer wielding Warhammer guys. They're pretty cool looking. And then the big uh, mall guy is a Stag Knight. And there's a, a couple of different poses for them, but I wanted to show these off in particular. Uh, one of the cool things about Simon's miniatures here is the weapons are actually a different different material than uh, some of the figures. So this is a harder kind of plastic, and then the weapons 
or maybe not plastic, but it's a harder material uh, for the weapons, which, which are hard plastic, than the uh, the actual miniatures. They're still hard. They still hold, hold detail really well. Um, and if you do want to paint them up, you end up with some really great looking miniatures when they're all painted. Uh, but you get a ton of miniatures in the box. I think in total, uh, let me double check this real fast. Yeah, it's 55 miniatures in the box, along with all the dice, all the templates, everything you need to play. So um, this is a really great starter. And it's just, like I said, there are a ton of minis. You can't see them all because it's a bad shot. But you get the idea. It is a ton of miniatures, and they look great. As mentioned earlier, there are unit cards for the different units in the game. And then there's also extra upgrades here as well. Uh, if you look at these cards, you can see uh, these two are the same. Both of these are Baratheon Ward units, but you flip it over, and it's got uh, more information. This is actually the unit stats and stuff on the card that you're going to be playing with. and It's got their uh, strength, their their attack, their, uh, their defense, movement, stuff like that. Uh, the upgrades as well. And then if you do, say, buy a, a unit champion upgrade or a leader upgrade, uh, these kind of slot in as well. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's something like that, um, or on top. Some some of the cards replace other things. It just kind of depends on the, on the unit upgrade, but uh, they kind of slot in there as well. And again, you've got Renly's card. It's more, more stuff on both sides. So uh, Renly, Stannis, uh, Stag Noble, the Master Warden uh, upgrades, Alistair Florent. These two are the uh, part of the command cards, so they play on the uh, command board, not necessarily on a, uh, a unit uh, in, in combat. So that's what those are for as well. Uh, but yeah, and you also get this cool, again, this is a starter set, so it's got your little quick reference card for your orders and your actions that you, uh, units can take during during your turn. Uh, very useful to have that around. So, but yeah, you've got your uh, Baratheon Wardens, your Baratheon Sentinels, uh, and again, the Stag Knights, pretty heavy hitting unit here. I'll flip these guys over so you can see. Um, but yeah, if you like uh, if you like stags and partying, Baratheon's where it's at. Also included in the uh, the card packs, uh, you've got a siege attacker and defender uh, set here. If you're playing those particular missions, these are different cards for obviously the siege defender and the siege attacker. Uh, if you want to play around with those mission cards, there's also a ton more secret mission cards, uh, and these add victory points to the to the game or to your to your army when you're playing. If you complete these secret missions. And then there's a ton more cards. Uh, it does have a, a bit of a card game system. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, depending on your leaders and stuff like that, you'll have a, a command deck essentially that you can use uh, to play uh, to, to play special effects during your turn. So each house has one. Each character that's leading ha has uh, some special command cards they can issue as well. Well, folks, that's pretty much everything inside the starter set for House Baratheon. I think the only thing we didn't show off was the objective cards, but those are kind of generic anyway. Uh, but yeah. This thing is available for pre-orders, and it may also be available depending on your store if they've if they've got it. <laughs> so check in with your FLGSs and uh, check in online for uh, pre-ordering this bad boy. So that is again the starter set for House Baratheon 4: A Song of Ice and Fire, the tabletop miniatures game from Simon uh, Miniatures by Dark Sword. Really great stuff. Uh, I like this game quite a bit. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh, really intuitive. And a lot of fun to play. So go check it out. I'm Adam here from Bulls, signing off. Have a good one. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.